Now we are trying to investigate horizontal transformation with the help of square root parent function, right? So for us, the question here is, identify the parent function f of x, which is square root of x. So we have a parent function where f of x is equals to square root of x. Now the second question is, write the equation of the transformed function g of x. So this is f of x given to us, and that is the transformed function g of x given to us. How are the points in two graphs related? Right? As you see, you notice a couple of things. One, g of x is a reflection of f of x, right? It is facing the other side as if there was a mirror along y-axis. So there is indeed a horizontal reflection. So horizontal reflection will affect the inside term and will make it negative, right? So that is the first transformation which you know. Second, we also see that it is kind of compressed horizontally, so it's kind of lifted up as if somebody has pushed it inside, right? So, so there are two transformations taking place here. So one is there is a reflection and second there is a horizontal compression. So both the things are happening. Let's try to analyze these two. So we can do it with the help of comparing the critical points. So when we talk about square root x function, then what are the critical points? For the function square root x, the critical points are 0, 0, that is starting point, and then 1, 1, so we have 1, 1, and 4, 2 is a good point to take, right? 4 and 2, since square root of 4 is 2, I could have taken 2 also, but then square root of 2 is kind of a decimal number, which is very difficult to work with. So we have these three for the time being as our critical points on square root of x. If we compare them, then let's see what is really happening to this. So what we notice here is that if we go horizontally, this point comes over there. So the point on the transformed function, let me write in a different ink, is, so origin remains there itself. That's a good thing. So let's say origin remains at 0, 0. So we are talking about now g of x, the transformed function. Origin remains and the point 1, 1 actually shifts. So it has come to almost half way, but the y value is same. So we'll write this as half and 1. The other point, which was at 4, 2, if you compare that, it is here now, right? So, so that point has actually reflected and it is halfway, correct? So it could be written as halfway of 4, minus 2. So instead of at 4, it is at minus 2, but y value is C. So that is what we notice. So what we really notice is that if we have a point x, y, in general, on the parent function, the given parent function, then it gets transformed so that y remains same. So y is same. What is happening to x point? x point is becoming negative half of original x, right? So it is negative of x over 2. That is the kind of transformation which is taking place and that we can very easily see from the graph, correct? So that is how the points in the two graphs are related and that answers this question for me. Now, let's get back to the equation, right? When this is the effect of the points, then how does the equation change? Since y is not changing, right? Now let's try to write g of x in terms of f of x, which is square root of x. Now since y is not changing, so, so outside square root, there is no change, since y is not affected, right? It is not vertically getting stretched or compressed, nor it is getting translated up and down. Now in x position, Origin remains, I mean, the graph starts from origin. So the starting point 0, 0 remains same. That means there is no horizontal translation either. Correct? The only thing which is happening here is horizontal compression, right? So it became closer. So we notice there are two things which have happened here. The first one is, which we notice is reflection. And second is horizontal compression. So let me make a note of this. So what do we note? 
we note that there is a reflection and this reflection is on y-axis correct and the second thing which we note is horizontal compression and by what factor in this case it is by a factor of by half, by factor of, I should write by factor of, by right? half factor, okay, interchange. So, there is a horizontal compression by a factor of half. So, these two things have happened and they can be reflected in the equation by writing minus, minus indicates reflection on y-axis, so it is horizontally shifted and this is always k factor is reversed, so 2x minus 2x, so that gives us the equation of the transform function. So g of x here can be written as square root of minus 2x and you can check your values. If you write minus 2, you get minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4 and square root is 2. Do you understand? If you write these values, you can check your answer. If you write half, right, minus half, minus half times 2 is 1 and square root of 1 is 1. So you get your values. Likewise, you could try other values also. This is a very good check. So the equation confirms with each point on the graph. Now let me give you a general solution for this, right? So here the general solution is that if I have a transformation which is from f of x to f of, let us say, minus kx, in that case, minus makes all these x values negative. So the original points which we had, let's just say x and y, so on this function, the x points will become negative and you divide by k. So that is how the x points will get changed and y points will remain the same. So that is the transformation of each and every point for a general case, right? Here we have a very specific case where each point is compressed by a factor of half. Do you see that? I hope you appreciate. So we get our answer that our function g of x is, let me rewrite this answer, right? So we write this function as g of x equals to square root of minus 2x and we have two transformations here. One is that it is reflected on y-axis. Second, every x point is compressed horizontally by a factor of half. And how the points are related? Points relation is if there is a point x and y on the original function f of x, then it gets transformed as minus of x by 2 and y. So that is how the points are related. So these are the two answers for the given question, right? I hope that makes things very easy to understand now and let's move on with some more examples with dealing with horizontal